Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all-natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man, we back. Goodfella Sports TV. Let's talk about the viewership for Erickson Lubin and Terrell Goucher. Mike Coverger reported that it peaked at 150,000 or average 150,000. Um, it dipped to 108,000 in the main event, average 116,000 for Showtime Boxing. Let's talk about that. Make sure you check out the Boxing News playlist for more videos like that. That's terrible numbers. Um, they're really pushing Lubin to be a, a superstar at 154 pounds. That's the reason he able to get a second crack at a WBC titleist Jamil Charlo, pending if he win this Saturday versus Rosario. Even though most people don't believe he deserves, um, he deserved neither one of the cracks that he got. He hasn't fought one significant junior middleweight, and he also got buzzed by Terrell Goucher this Saturday night. But, you know, he also, in my opinion, um, didn't do a good viewership. You know, to average 116,000, the telecast averaged 150,000, and it dipped at a low 108,000. That's terrible. You know what I'm saying? That is horrendous. That's like but worse than what Top Rank was doing. They didn't even clip at 200,000. Even for Showtime, those are bad numbers. This ain't Showbox, my baby. This is, you know, you know, Showtime boxing. It may not have been championship boxing, but still, it was Showtime boxing. And, you know, those are horrible numbers. And, you know, those numbers indicate that Showtime could be living uh, boxing. You know, I think Charlos might sell more pay-per-views than the viewerships than, you know, Erickson Lubin and, and Terrell Goucher did. But it was a pedestrian fight. Neither one of them are household names in the casual boxing world. There was not one household name on this card. King Tug, the greedy, greedy guy, whatever his name was, you know, Ennis, you know, Goucher, Lubin, neither one of these dudes was household names. And once again, you just can't throw no bullshit on TV and expect people to, to view it just because it's the corona pandemic. Now the world's starting to open back up. You know, people still ain't watching boxing when the world was shut down. You know, boxing was the only alternative sport that was going on certain nights and people still tend not to watch it. So once again, boxing is getting a reality check. It may go to a place like NHL where it may not recover for a very long time. And, you know, and they very good, you know, uh, you know, entrees they got to offer. They putting them on pay-per-view. So people ain't trying to spend eighty dollars. People ain't trying to spend free ninety nine to watch boxing. You know, it's 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 Showtime is is a is a paid subscription network, and I'm pretty sure they're around what twenty million view twenty million subscribers. Out of twenty million subscribers, they didn't even get ten percent uh ten percent of the viewership, you know what I'm saying, or who they subscribers were. And once again, you know, Al Heyman is you know the fans keep showing them time and time again that you got to give better fights. You know what I'm saying? He doing sub million dollar million viewerships on Fox. You know, Ugas did a good viewership, you know, for today's day and age. But like I said before, man, Al Heyman, I don't know when he going, he going to recognize that he got to consolidate his talent. He got to make the best fight the best. And a lot of the best fights that he can offer, you know, they are, they beyond marinade and they spoil meat. Keith, Keith Thurman and Earl Spence, they getting ready to cue that up. That's spoiled. That should have happened two or three times ago. Earl and Sean Porter, you know, that should have happened back in 2016 or 17 when Earl won the belt. You know, Wilder and Ruiz, that's cooked now. Ruiz was lazy and Wilder got beat up by Fury twice. You know, Caleb Plant and David Benavidez. You know, Benavidez keep losing the belt and getting opportunities and they keep marinating and marinating that fight. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Jerry Hurd and Jamel Charlo never got to happen and you know, you just got a lot of fights. They'd rather give us some bullshit and make us pay for it. And a lot of people just stand on their power and say they're not going to watch it no more. You know, boxing is getting to a really, really dark place. But I thought this fight would have did better. But once again, Terrell Goucher, just a born fighter, man. He don't take no chances. He don't punch nothing. He ain't nothing special to fight. So I don't understand why they keep putting him on TV. I guess because he's from Cleveland, Ohio, just like Al Heyman. But damn, you know what I'm saying? Every time he fight, it's like a born fight. Lara. You know, now he fought uh, Gucci and Lubin, who, you know, sometimes or most of the time are entertaining. Ain't nobody got time for this bull job, you feel me? So Al need to start putting on premium fights. And until he start putting on premium fights and making his best soldiers fight his best soldiers, this is just the point we're going to be at in boxing. But to 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 barely to dip to 108,000 in the main event, you know, peaked at 116,000, that's just let you know that only hardcore boxing fans, you know, tapped in for this fight. And... I don't think nobody, nobody really cared about it. You know, was it a really exciting and competitive moment? 
you know, there was competitive rounds between Lubin and Goucher and, and King Tun and whatever, Breedy, Greedy, whatever his name was, but it wasn't nothing near that's going to make you say, hey, man, call Brad, hey, turn this on, call Brittany, turn this on. Wasn't nothing of, 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 of substance to that fight. And if you're going to continue to put on fights like that, then, you know, you might as well, you know, not put them on TV. Ain't nobody watching that bullshit. You know, Lubin went in there. He supposed to make a statement. All the shit that him and Goucher have been going back and forth and talking and, 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 and talking greasy. And then you come up here trying to hit and don't get hit or or trying to fight a safety first fight. And then you fight safety first. And then when you open up in the seventh, eighth round, ninth round, you get touched on the temple and you you do the banana. You do the banana dance, banana and pajama dance. I just don't think he got what it's. I don't think Lubin is what Al Heyman and what Mike Tyson thought he was in the beginning. You know, I think his power in both hands is overrated. You know, I really don't, I don't see nothing special, but he a southpaw. You know, and Goucher is in competitive fights, but he ain't like boring fight. He fought Austin Trout. Like, man, I didn't watch that. I turned that shit off. That wasn't worth, worth my time. I'm not going to waste my time on boxing no more. Because boxing don't be like, hey, man, you know, it's put on the fight that CJ want to see or the hardcore fan want to see. It's always we got a marinade or or, you know, he getting older and, you know, I'm getting, I'm younger. He got, he running out of time. They, you know, the businessman got these boxers talking like pussies. And I'm telling you, the 98% of these fighters don't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. To be honest. There's a handful of active Hall of Famers. I would say Danny Garcia, Crawford, obviously Manny Pacquiao, Lomachenko, if he punches ticket on Sunday. I mean, on October 17th. Those are really the only Hall of Famers I can think of. You know, you know, New UI, he probably get in there. Chocolito get in there out of the smaller guys. But really, you know, Leo Santa Cruz, no. Abner Mares, if he active, you know, if he come back, I doubt it with that eye it, the way it is. No. I mean, it ain't really no no Hall of Famers going right now. Ain't nobody took no risk. A lot of these 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 beta males just move down in weight. And they won't take no risk in moving up in weight. You know, oh, you could say, you know, Triple G ain't no Hall of Famer. I don't care what Dan Rayfield say. I debate him on that one. Ain't no way Triple G a Hall of Famer. He, this is where New Dan has got the game messed up at. Canelo, you know, you can, you know, you can put him in there, but he ain't really took no no real risk. He ain't fought no killers without no asterisk on him, but you know, you can get in. You got uh Barry McGuinnon and, and Rocky Balboa, and you got uh who else in there? I was gonna mention a Tour Gotti who don't belong in there, who was an everlasting punching bag. He got out it. He got in there because he ended up dead. Fuck out of here, man. It's a lot of the fires you could put in before you put him in. But, hey, just my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Terrible viewership by Eric's Lundy, I mean, Erickson Lubin and Terrell Goucher. I don't ever want to see Goucher fight on my TV again. Please. All right? He make, he make exciting fires look boring. He make boring fighters look, shit, I don't know, super mundane. But uh, keep sharing the videos. Don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you got a business question, inquire, response, your video request. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? Dollar sign, cash app, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate is to share, share the video. Let me know what you guys think. Check out the boxing news playlist for more videos like this. One time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We gone. Belief about. No, I'm on the phone. You on the phone? Yeah, yeah. You're looking at my baby. No, no. No, I ain't looking at him, man. No, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. Man. All right, man. Next time we come outside, don't be staring and shit like that. I don't like that. I wasn't looking at him.